Hey, 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 me again. I'm feeling back in that groove to where now it's like, talk, 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 talk. Get, get out all these things that have been um, kind of like pushed down under the muck of emotions. And I just wanted to ask who else hears it, you know. Back to life, back to reality. However do you want it, however do you need it <laughs> that just started going and I all I could think was back to life for real yay it's like laying down feeling helpless and then waking back up and going that was a bad dream <laughs> that wasn't even true because we can put ourselves into delusional states with the illusions that we accept as life. So the more that we accept things that aren't um, beneficial, the more we're going to create a hellish way of living for ourselves. Because when you get to a point where you want to control everything, and that's hard. Because even the other night I was talking to somebody and they said, man, you're so controlling. and. I went down and started writing page after page after page that I eventually had to come back and say, okay, so since I don't want to do it your way and I'm asking to compromise, I'm controlling, which the conversation was very much needed. Hold on one second. Okay, so the conversation was very much needed. Because when we can have these tough conversations, we can actually start bringing ourselves back to life, back to reality. And you can start building relationships that are beneficial for both sides or all parties involved, right? Because when we aren't willing to be flexible and compromise and see it from each other's perspective, then we're at war with everything around us, including ourselves. Because remember, everything that you see around you is a reflection of how you feel inside. So if you see that the world is chaotic, like I have seen, it's really telling me how I am in here, what I believe, what I see. And after years of survival mode, toxic energy, I've had to still keep coming out of that. And it's hard when um excuse me when you're used to accepting less than what you deserve when you get to the point that you've accepted that when you're offered more a lot of times it's like what do you want why no i don't i don't want that <laughs> and you start pushing away things that are healthy for you things that will help heal you and help you grow but that only comes through those conversations and a lot of times a lot of us aren't honest because either we don't want to start an argument, we don't want to hurt people's feelings, we um, just get used to accepting it. But there's things in life that are not acceptable that we all have to learn to start speaking up and saying, no, that, that is not allowed. And it's, it's like with my kids, it's easy for me to like speak up if someone's doing something to my children but for the longest time I've accepted that will do to me whatever say to me whatever I don't care I'll overcome that but when it comes to you know the the people that can't ne necessarily speak up for themselves you know like even the elderly in nursing homes and down to the smallest baby that can't speak or even the animals that everyone's like you don't speak everything is talking even when you hear the wind in the trees, they can almost sing you a, a melody, you know? A lot of times I hear ocean waves when the wind is blowing in those trees. And it's cool because it takes me to a place that I want to be. But you have to learn to listen with your heart because there's a lot of things that when we're listening just from here, it's, um, it can be misunderstood. Like, like with my parents, <laughs> my dad's losing his hearing and my mom 
says things to him and then she's like wait where where'd you get that you know and even the other night I was told I have selective hearing I said all this and all you got out of it was that and I had to sit there and go oh maybe I didn't listen all the way maybe I was listening from a fear-based mindset because also when you're listening from um, looking for an outcome or trying to resolve an issue but you want more of it the way you want it you know like I'll compromise but only this far you're going to hear things differently it's, it's when we get our way that we hear exactly oh yeah that's what I wanted to hear then we hear it but when we're being told things we don't want to hear that's where people get triggered that's where people get angry that's where people shut down that's where people retaliate you know vengeance becomes a game so we all have to learn to start listening from a point that is accepting what the other person is expressing it doesn't mean that you have to be okay with it it doesn't mean that you have to give in to what they're saying but you have to accept the emotion that they're expressing because that's how they're feeling you know you can be with somebody that pays you all the attention in the world but then they spend a lot of time doing other things and put more love and care into that than they do your situation and you feel like they don't really even care about you but that's all a matter of wanting it to be a certain way wanting to hear what you want to hear wanting to see what you want to see and a lot of times if people can't get that um i can't find the word i'm looking for right now when they can't get exactly what they want that's where they start going i don't want you in my life i don't need you and honestly when you get around people that will help you grow a lot of times most people will push them away because growth is not easy learning about ourselves is not easy accepting our shadow side is not easy learning to work with a world that we don't necessarily fit in because a lot of people probably feel the same way i do like i don't necessarily get along and it's not to say that i don't get along with them i don't agree with the way a lot of people live but that instead of me sitting there judging it or telling them oh you need to change this and do this and that or i'm not going to be your friend or i'm not going to be in a relationship with you that is controlling <laughs> that is saying it's my way or the highway and man i used to be very much thinking i was in charge thinking that i was making the choices but that's the thing about someone that's toxic when the when the um outcome is like adding to the toxicity they're going to give you all the credit in the world they're going to start making you feel like you're just like them a user an abuser a liar a thief um whatever it is you know they're going to try to share the um tyranny <laughs> that i've had a lot of people try to like get me to come out of character and i say character because it is character is what you do when nobody's watching right that's who we truly are in life so like i said a couple videos ago i don't go around saying i'm a great person i'm gonna bless you and everything's always perfect because that's not life in all honesty, I'm not even in control of a lot of things that I'm gifted with. But the only thing I did was start realizing the gift that was given to me and going, oh, I should work that out. I, I need to invest in that and start seeing things change for the better because I have the ability, I have the understanding and the know-how to um, invest in that part of me that is more beneficial for the world because i still have these goals and these dreams that i am trying to put the faith back into because i want to see it become a reality i want to see that what i can give to the world can actually start helping people to break free from the chains of um toxic acceptance you know and from fear-based mindsets and to get away from the concept that they're being controlled 
Because when you can give somebody back their freedom, you have gifted them something that's out of this world. When you can give somebody back the concept that you're actually more in control of what happens to you, then you give them back the ability to understand the power within themselves instead of being victims. Because when you feel like you're a victim, it, it is overwhelming. It keeps you in a low vibration and it keeps you open to being more of a victim. To, and when I say a victim, I'm saying accepting someone's foul behavior and no matter how it affects you, you still allow it. Because when you're a victim, you're trapped. When you're a survivor, you've endured. But when you're living, you're making choices. And I think a lot of people have forgot that living through the spirit, living through that connectedness with a higher power, gives you back that freedom to embrace the love and positivity that the world truly does have to offer. It's just hiding behind a veil from the illusions that we've accepted. Because when it comes down to it, we didn't come out of the womb and design this world. We walked into somebody else's dream, reality. They've created it for us. And where people thought that they were um, progressing further in life, not really even looking at the big picture, look a hundred years in the future and you see that you've actually created something destructive rather than something that's going to enable people and empower people to become better versions of themselves. So it's on us to start focusing on how can I better myself? Because for a long time, I have, and I want to say the majority of my life, I've not competed with others. I've competed with me. Because what's the point of me trying to compete with you? We don't have the same body. We don't have the same composition. We don't have the same mindset. We don't have the same goals and dreams. Why would I compete with you? That's not even a fair scale to begin with. So when we get to the concept of, okay, I'm a one-up me. I'm going to do me better than I did yesterday. We start to grow in such a way that we, we build almost a bridge in our consciousness that allows us to go from lack of mentality to um, abundance, a healthy and wealthy way of being. Because when you become more abundant and you attract that positive from other people, it helps it easier for you to shine it out for the world. And as we begin to share in a more loving and methodical way of being, then we start to see, wow, I'm healing what time has broken down. And in reality, this concept of time has allowed us to break ourselves down to where we've become less caring. We've become less emotional. We have pulled back the ability to be vulnerable. We have shut down everything that has to do with spirit. We have accepted everything that has to do with human concept, human nature. But the nature of who we are changes with what we accept. So when we sit here and go, I don't wanna fight. I don't, for the longest time, I was like, I don't wanna fight anymore. I just, I'm tired of fighting. And it got to the point when I didn't want to fight against the devilish energy around me. It wasn't that I was accepting it, but I felt imprisoned. I felt like death would be more acceptable than life. And that has carried over for years because even getting away from that individual, memories linger, right? The, the um, response is still there. The ability for someone to trigger you, not necessarily even on purpose, it's still very present. So even last night I had to sit there and I'm, I'm writing out and I thought, it's amazing. I didn't realize that thoughts could actually keep me stuck. You know, thoughts of events from the past and just keep mulling over and over the crime of other people and how they treated me rather than just accepting the fact that that's who they were. They were there to help me see a side of me that I needed to work on, accept, or move on from, you know? And it's funny, even as I was writing, I didn't realize. I was like, I've always realized. And it's, it's 
almost asinine that I had to sit there and write it out to get to the understanding that I already knew it. <laughs> it it's almost like remembering something you didn't know you forgot, you know, and when you start remembering who you are deep down inside, you can get into alignment with yourself. You then get yourself into alignment with nature and then you get yourself in alignment with a higher power. I keep going like this because my window's right there and I got the blinds open and I see the woods. I don't know, you can't see it, but I'm seeing it. But um, when you can get into that better alignment, you basically are allowing yourself to start being propelled forward. Because when you find yourself stuck mulling over thoughts, enduring the trauma over and over and over again. It's almost like being more accepting to destruction than the possibility of growth. And that's that in-between world. And like I said, I get pulled, but I have to remind myself that I am not giving anyone that kind of power over me. I've always battled to maintain this is who I am. The, you're not going to dim my light. You're not going to kill my spirit. You are not going to obliterate everything about me that is important to me, that is beneficial to the world. Because when we can live in a concept or a mindset that says, you know what? I'm going to help heal everything that has hurt all of us. That starts putting you on the path of being the person that break, breaks your generational curses. And as you can begin to see the patterns in your life, the patterns in like even your parents' life, you, the way that you interact with them, the way that you interact with others, you can start seeing what holds you back. But it's all about paying attention. It's all about um, accepting certain aspects and then saying, you know, it was what it was. It was like that for a reason. And for the longest time, I tried to figure out what was the reason. And then after I got to the point, I was like, I don't really care. I wanted closure. I wanted the other person to acknowledge. And then I got to a point where I was like, I don't need any of that. I am just grateful I got out of that situation. And at this point, got myself into a better situation. And now even with this changing, I'm over here going, you know what? I had to remind myself yesterday, everything is temporary. Even a year is temporary. Even our life is temporary. So when I could get back in that mindset of this is temporary, it no longer had that chokehold on me. It no longer made me feel like I'm a failure. I didn't do anything right. I crazily went back to, I made a mistake by leaving my captor. The one that made me feel like death was more valuable than life. And when I started going back into that way of thinking, I had to say, uh-uh, don't you dare. Don't you dare give that power back to that person because they do not have a right to have that hold over you energetically, mentally, emotionally, everything about you because all of that can shut down the, the ability to move on a physical scale. We can actually allow ourselves to accept things that debilitate us, that make us not want to get out of bed when all we got to do is turn the page. When you can turn the page, you can start seeing the flowers grow again. You know, you can start seeing the beauty in life and the, the loveliness nature that people actually have inside of them. But we have to break that um, monologue within ourselves that makes us say, I don't deserve any of that. Don't be your worst critic. Don't don't allow yourself to be somebody that says, well, I did this in second grade, so I deserve this. Don't hold yourself back. Because even I've had to realize the only person standing in front of me was me. <laughs> that's, that's a hard concept to accept. And it's funny because I've, I've seen this, realized this over and over and over again, and I thought I accepted it. But in reality, I was acknowledging it, but I wasn't seeing how to change it. And the only way I could see how to change it was to say, quit being so hard on yourself. Like the world has basically already beat you up because that's what you wanted to do. Take yourself out. 
But that's also based off of um, other people's opinions of who I am, what I should do, you know? So it gets to a point where we give that power to people that we're allowing them to um, tell us what we deserve. We start putting ourselves into the moment of accepting something that is less than what we deserve. So don't give that power to people. Don't allow others to tell you if you're good or bad. You know in your heart who you truly are. And this, of course, is not talking to narcissists that are okay hurting people. This is for people that are waking up and wanting to heal within themselves and realize that it's okay that I hurt somebody. It's okay that I get hurt. What's not okay is staying stuck in that mindset and continuing to accept that behavior. So I'm just now being told my battery's running low and I'm going to leave it on that note. Sending you peace, love, and light. And hopefully you got something out of that. Bye-bye.